player coming to the ring, much more experienced player. This is an exhibition bout, it should be three twos. Andy going at speaking here, speaking alongside Josh. Joshua, your co-host here with Andy Goritz. Looking forward to this fight, should be a good come forward fight. Victoria Benyas, very aggressive. All experience, of course, very technical, we shall see. Give and take there. There we go, nice high guard, catching most of those shots and pushing back with the jab. Lovely. Resetting. That's the thing about Victoria, she has no fear. She will keep coming forwards just like that. I do believe her nickname in the gym is the Terminator for good reason. <laughs> okay, still range fine at this stage. This is three two minute rounds and it is an exhibition bout, so there will be no winning in this bout. Remember, proceeds of the bout, we're raising money for Kinnaird, Thistle Annex. There you go, a wee bit in close, some body shots getting slipped in there. And the clinch. Sonia using her experience to smother there, looking for a wee reset. Victoria pressing forward. Oh, good body shots again. Caught off an overhand right, potentially. Nice high guard there, I do like the look of that. Lovely. Good pushing back, Sonia using the experience there, just keeping the young one off her, like that. Victoria still moving forward, not bothered by these shots at all, keeping her high guard. I do like the angles that Sonia's taking. You can see the experience there when she's doing the wee resets with the outside foot. I do like that. Keating Victoria on the front foot, keeping her resetting. I like that. That was a good jab, though. Victoria's not slowed down at all. She's still going. Really good cardio. Really good cardio, my gym. She's still going. Good defense, keeping the hands up. She does have a brilliant engine on her. And that's a good exchange there, starting and finishing there from Sonia. You can see the experience there again. Good guard, Victoria. Brilliant good first, first round. Definitely, yeah. Quality exhibition there. I really enjoyed that. I think the message Arthur will be saying to Victoria is just keep doing what you're doing. I'm liking the high guard. No, uh, Again, this is Victoria's first fight, so no silly mistakes there. You can see the experience from Sonia. Nice angles, nice resets. Really nice guard and jab. We'll see what round two brings us. Well, Victoria, hats off to her, she's doing well, she's keeping calm, she's not panicking. Here's a wee replay there, you can see the body shot coming back from Sonia. Nice wee change of levels there, Victoria pressing forward in the front foot. That was body good shots. though. Definitely Josh, digging in the body shots, that was nice. Take it where you can get it. Okay, looks like we're ready for round two. I'm sure Arthur's whispering words of wisdom there, we've all had it. <laughs> Victoria maybe looking a little bit fresher than Sonia after the first rounds. I think Sonia's experience will carry her through. I think this is a uh, old rope for her. Yeah, she looks ready. She looks ready to go. Here we go. Touching gloves there. Good to see you in an exhibition. Sign of respect. Again, Victoria pressing forward on the jab. I do like to see that. Both working in the crease there. Nice wee slip from Sonia. Good jab from Victoria. Good Sonia pressing forward. Back. Good, good give and take there. I like to see that. Good guard there. 
very high quality stuff. They've not taken a break this whole first two rounds. Good there. Yes, Victoria still moving forward. Sonia keeping that low lead hand, using it to keep uh, Victoria off her. You can see the experience, you can see the circle, you can see kind of keeping Victoria coming into the space. Yeah. Stepping Definitely. off, yeah. stepping off to the left, keeping her left shoulder high, Good covering up at the moment. Nice body shot, so I like that. Good to see it. You will get it back though, there you go, need to tuck up. Well done. Staying disciplines, not dropping her hands when she's throwing these combinations, coming back to it. Definitely. The things you should look for in a first exhibition bout is shape. We're definitely seeing that. Fitness, we're seeing that. And output, and we're seeing that. So well done. I think Victoria is definitely passing the first bout test. Obviously, you can see Sonia's a much more experienced fighter, but it's uh, it's a good contest to watch. I think the fans are definitely getting their money's worth with this for bout one. I can't wait to see what's coming up next. Victoria is still moving forward. Keeping that high guard. Nice jab, nice slip. A few slips. Came back with the counter. Good shape again from both fighters. I'm seeing that they've got they've not given each other much to work with. Um, you can see that. Nice uppercut. Changing levels again. Good to see. Coming over the top. Victoria come back with a nice straight jab. She does have a good stiff jab. She does, she does. Sonia more relying on that head movement to avoid. Yeah. And, and again that's and experience coming in. Last ten seconds, see if anybody steals the round. Nice slip coming back. Good work there. And End of the rounds. Fantastic performance from both fighters. Definitely another brilliant round, Josh. I'm enjoying watching this. Sony should be proud. Victoria should be extra proud. Yeah, they're definitely, um, I think, for a first fight, as I say, looking for the shape, looking for the, you know, a little bit of aggression, definitely high fitness levels, definitely executing very well for a novice box. So you can see the difference in experience there. Every now and then, Sonia's just stepping on the gas, but Victoria, definitely lovely. Look at those body shots, sinking them in, changing levels. But when an experienced fighter will come back to you, and that's a little learning curve there, but we all, we yes. all have it. We, we all, all have, have it. that, yes, we do. We all have that moment, and Victoria doesn't look bothered at all, does she? She's still, still ready to go. Sonia it. looks comfortable in the ring, but Victoria looks rearing for this third round, third and final rounds. 15-year-old young lady, first fight, definitely doing herself very good. Sign of respect there again at the end. Good resets. You can see Sonia just working that crease, coming up the middle with those jabs, working around the corner of the hooks. Lovely work. Sonia got a bit more rhythm going now, yeah. moving around the ring. Definitely got the second one there. We bouncing the steps, but petting the step. Victoria will be a bit heavy legged. First fight, we all get it. Heavy legs, it's just the nerves, just drain the energy right out of you. But you can see Sonia, the experience there, bouncing up on the toes, round three. Lovely jab there. Yep. Victoria's now looking for the counter after she throws. Oh, She's bringing her hands hook right there. back. That was nice. That was nice. Nice hook. Sonia may be looking for that check left to counter. Sonia oh. looks like she's enjoying herself there. So does she Victoria. Does. All focus, pressing forward. Lands a hook back. Good tidy guard there. Nice. Lovely wee check up a cut. Good jab coming off it though, Victoria. Good awareness of the range there. Yep, still covering Good change up. of levels from Sonia there though. Oh, lovely hook. Oh, nice counter. Car coming in. That's what you want to see. Just keeping them on their toes, just letting them learn in the ring. And again, just nice. soaking up the shots. Going to the Good body. body shots. Rolling with the shots really well and coming off a nice stiff jab. That's what you want to see. Victoria doing well there, taking the shots where she finds them. Coming right back. Slipping the punch again. She's worked very well on the front foot. Definitely a pressure fight of Victoria. You see it in the gym and it's good to see that's transferred over into the ring. Sonia clearly the counter puncher. You can see the experience oh. level, but that was a lovely shot there. Good wee exchange. Good exchange, yeah, back and forth. Sonia looking for that slip counter right Last hand. Last 10 seconds. Let's see if anybody steals it. Good little change round the guard, touch, touch and round the guard, classic stuff. Lovely so right hand off, but here comes Victoria. Oh. Brilliant first fight. Fantastic. Great to see that respect between the boxers there. 
There's a wee replay at the end of the round there. You can see just stepping on the gas. Lovely wee check hook there from Sonia, just on the back foot. Victoria always coming forward. Lovely hook there. She does reset very well when she takes a shot. Clipping back, you can see Sonia. Oh, yep, good shot. And so again there, that's a lovely wee three-piece there. Yeah. Sonia acknowledged one or two of those shots as well. They were good shots. The wee grin, that's when you know you've got experience, when yeah. you can smile through it. Yeah. And again... Great to see that respect between fighters there. So brilliant first fight there. Definitely saw Victoria come forward in the front foot. We did see Sonia's experience there. And it's great to see for an exhibition the respect between both fighters. That's what you're looking for. Up next we have Jack Laird versus Fraser Lee. That's an inter-club fight for Arthur Boxing. Um, very technical. You should see some very good skills on display here. It's an exhibition, but we'll see what they come up with. So Josh has rejoined me in the commentary here. I was just saying, Josh, that uh, Jack versus Fraser, it's an inter-club bout, should be very tasty. We've got some very high-level, highly skilled young men there. Um, young Jack, 15 years old, I do believe. Fraser, a little bit older, coming up to our 19. Um, but two very skilled, very skilled boxers there. Uh, very technical, should be a very good fight to watch. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I've sparred Jack a couple of times. He's only 15. I'm a bit older and he's no fear. He keeps going for it. I'm looking forward to this. He's got some really good check left hooks. He's caught me with them a few times. He's got a really good jab. I'm looking forward to seeing him versus Fraser. Speaking as someone significantly older than young Jack, I, I can vouch for that. He's very technical. Lovely check hooks. Very much a back foot boxer. Very much the way Arthur is, likes to coach his boxers. I do believe Fraser is of the similar mode, so it'll be interesting to see who presses the fight. And um, We'll just keep watching and see. Yeah, yeah.
can see young Jack Laird there getting warmed up. Fraser coming into the ring as well. So this is an inter-club, both fighters fighting for Arthur Boxing Club. It is also an exhibition. Here comes young Jack, very technical boxer. Um, all the skills, all the tools in the box. Fraser, very similar, slightly older Fraser. Very good experience for both boxers, really looking forward to this one. Fraser looking confident. Jack looking confident too. I think once you get in the ring, instincts take over. You don't have time to be nervous. As we say, two home fighters, two very technical boys, first bout for both. Um, Fraser's journey started off doing personal training with Arthur, he's decided to go for it. Jack's came through the ranks of the kids club, oh. we will see great technique here. Jack's coming on the front foot, very interesting, both are counter punchers. Um, but you're seeing Jack pressing it a little bit more, good shape from both. Nice High slips. intensity so far, let's see if they can keep this up for three rounds. Definitely. Jack looking good, he's looking really loose. Fraser changing levels, very nice there. I do like about Jack, which he's added to his game recently. I was watching sparring on Thursday, and he does start firing back now that he's come back. He does sit on the back foot a lot, but he's pressing a lot more, and I like to see that. Fraser's got lovely shape. That is first bout, lovely shape. I was right expecting hand. a bit more of a feeling out process. Still a bit of a feeling out process. They came out very strong. Both looking for that range finder at the moment. It's a frantic for an exhibition, but you can see the level technique. Um, both boys trying to work in the crease there, changing levels, keeping themselves nice and safe. A lovely little counter from Jack. Fraser pressing action now. Jack he changed the levels, but Fraser with a nice shot there. Good head movement from Jack. Good little feint there. I like that high low from Fraser. Jack still trying to find his rhythm. Throwing out some feelers. Jack's working round the outside, which can be a good strategy. Now there he goes. Now he's working round the right hand side as well. Is that a gum shield out? What are we no, looking at here? No, it looks like his laces. Laced He's them retied. Primary school problem there, but I'm sure Chris will sort it out in the corner. Good job by the referee spotting that, though. Definitely. Frantic start to the round. Um, some really high quality boxing. Great to see. Both of them getting a wee breather here. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see the replay. Lovely shot from Fraser right up the middle. Jack resetting with the head movement. Good to see. Lovely little screw shot there up the middle from Fraser. The old Ricky Hatton shot. Here we go. And the action is back. And touch gloves, good sign of respect there. Both throwing the jab and slip to the right at the same time. Yeah. This will be, both boxers are nearly a mirror image in terms of technique, but that was nice from Jack, pressing forward on the front foot. Fraser resetting with some good shots there. Jack. Good guard as well. Jack keeping that head movement going. Oh, nice one, two, and a one at the mm. end. One, two, one, very good combination. I'm impressed the fact that young Jack looks like he's settled into this. Looks like he's starting to enjoy himself. Doesn't Fra seem bothered by the, the gap in age at all. No, uh, Fraser doing exactly what he should be doing. Lovely technique. The last 10 seconds. Is anyone going to Navajo? Is anyone going to go for it? Oh, good shot there at the end, but Jack comes right back. Good first round. Frantic first round, but very good to see. So Arta will be doing the corner for Fraser as this is into our club. Chris will be doing the corner for young Jack. Um, very high level stuff, great to see. Some lovely straight shots coming up. I would like to see boxers maybe coming around the corner more, maybe a wee check hook. I know they both have that in Arsenal, but we'll see if anybody brings it out in round two. It'd be very interested to hear, very interested to be a fly in the wall in both corners at the moment. I wish I could read lips. Arthur's corner talks are always interesting. Yeah, Chris getting a bit animated over there. He's uh, telling Jack. And here to keep you moving. see the replay. You can see that both. It's very give and take. Jack's coming on. Fraser's coming on. Lovely there. Like that little slip and coming on the crease with the uppercut. Both very aware of ranges. Here we go. Round two. 
Now, I'm expecting the pace to drop a little bit because that was frantic for a first fight. Both boys are fit as a fiddle, so we will see if that happens. Still high intensity. This is an exhibition, just a reminder. You would not believe it if you are watching the action. Lovely Jack accelerating. He has brought that into his arsenal. Previously a back foot counter puncher. He's now accelerating forward, coming forward. Good to see Fraser. Lovely shape. Coming forward with one two there. This might be an exhibition, but you should tell both of them that. Exactly. I'm enjoying Fraser. He's adding in some really nice feints. Jack does have lovely head movement and the feet are moving in sync as well. But Fraser's definitely got a good grasp of that. Good shots there. Jack comes right back though. That's what he needs to do. It's important to have the head movement, but if you don't fire back, that's a bad sign. Jack is firing back after the head movement. That's it, just like that. Are you speaking from experience there, Josh? I like to think so. I like to think so. <laughs> good little acceleration from Jack. Fraser resetting, getting the distance back. That's exactly what you should be doing. Jack trying that check left hook. Didn't work right. out that time, but he came back right didn't away. Didn't quite have the range there, but yeah, but it's worth an effort. 10 out of 10 for effort there from young Jack. Looks like Jack is looking for the check left now. He is working around that crease. It's interesting to see Fraser does have his right hand quite high. I'm not sure if that will come off. Good to see him resetting on the jab. That's what you need to do. If it's not working, go back to the jab. Good change of levels. Tried that overhand right there. That has been something he's been working on. I have kept a wee eye on that. Lovely spear shot up the middle from Fraser there. Jack against the ropes, countering back. Fraser really holding the centre of the ring at the moment. Jack moving along the ropes. Definitely, this fight seems to be occurring at long range. Lots of jabs, lots of straights. Not a lot of hooks. Definitely no inside work yet. But we'll see if it progresses to that as the bout progresses. There Good acceleration go. again. Jack really found his range there. Fantastic Definitely. combination. Definitely. Good exchanges. I think, there we go. Fraser got a good little shot in the end there. Right Could see the touch out. of gloves. Brilliant fight to watch so far. And you can see both corners giving some advice. I'd imagine the advice in the corner would be settled. Keep doing what you're doing. It is an exhibition. You can see the skill level of both fighters. It is great to see. I think uh, Arthur and Chris will both be proud of what they're seeing. Here's a wee replay. Jack coming off the ropes. Good acceleration there. Fraser keeping the guard tight. Not panicking. Exactly what he should do. Fire back. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Jack here with the head movement. He's thrown one or two punches. Dipping off to the side. And recountering when Fraser's firing off. Definitely. He tried to be overhand right there. I know that's something he's been working on. Didn't quite get the range. But it's a lovely shot if you can pull it off. Good job. Tend a little exchange there. And right at the end, I don't know if we'll get it, but Fraser did have a little end of the exchange. Here we go. Round three. Nice last, touch of gloves. Last round. Pace has been frantic. Let's see if they keep it going. Good little reset. Both fighters. Shape's fantastic, you can see. Right hand nice and high. Oh, there's another acceleration from Jack. Fraser keeping the guard up. Good and now he's both. got Jack on the ropes. Good little understanding. Ring generalship, but Jack's coming off nice. Jack moving back, resetting. Fraser, I like how he's moving forward, but he's moving forward sensibly. He's got the feints, he's got the head movement. You can tell he's a well-schooled boxer. He's keeping that. Oh, Jack oh. coming forward again. Lovely head movement there. Fraser is on the front foot, but Jack does look comfortable so far. He's getting good resets. I think the large ring will suit Jack. He does enjoy a large ring. He will enjoy stepping off an angle, as you see there. Yep. Resetting. I think this suits him well. Lovely shot oh. there. Both Fraser are keeping the guard tight. Good exchange. Fraser still moving forward. Yeah, shape's fantastic from Fraser. That's what you're looking for from your first fight. Keep the shape, even when you're under pressure and he fires right back. Great to see Jack. You can see him circling away to his left there. Yep. Exchanging, that was a big shot from Fraser though. Jack reacts exactly the way you'd want to, just firing off the ropes. Yep. Lovely exchange. Jack's keeping his defense, even when he's getting caught. These are Some of them are partially blocked. And step, step, step. Lovely shots there from Jack. Fraser pressing back on the front foot again. Lovely level change there. Good shot from Jack there. Two backhands he landed, nice and clean. Still fighting off the back foot. I think Jack had some success when he was moving forward with that one-two. Yeah. You can see the legs are a wee bit tired now. End of round. No wonder the boys have fought at a frantic pace there. But the shape's still fantastic. That's what you want to see. 
Just buy yourself a bit of space, buy yourself a bit of time, and get right back in the jab, which is what young Jack's doing there. Good shots from Fraser, though. That's it. Jack's keeping the jab going. That's what to do when you're tired. Keep your opponent at bay, catch your breath. Last 10 seconds. Is anyone going to go for it? They're going to have a wait. Yep, good to see that. A little exchange. Both of them going for it. Jack putting the pressure on. Lovely, lovely. Beautiful way to end the brilliant, fight. Brilliant, brilliant. Big hug of respect there. Quality bout. I think both fighters should take a bow there. Fantastic quality. Fantastic quality. Arthur's giving the thumbs up. That's when you know you've done a good job. I think two medals later, I don't think I've had the thumbs up yet from Arthur. <laughs> so that'll do. <laughs> Lots of respect. They are gym mates. They are stable mates. They do go on very well. I think the you can see the respect in the ring, but they both enjoyed themselves tonight. A wee replay here. See Jack coming off the ropes. He did that well throughout the fight. Fraser maintaining his shape, which was great to see. You can see he's thinking about firing back there. Coming forward on the front foot. Great combination from Jack there. Good uh, diagonal movement, as Arthur says. A lot. Fraser firing back throughout. Fraser landed some quite heavy shots, but Jack did take them very well. Yeah, he kept his hands up for most of them. He countered, he came back. Very good spirit from both fighters. This bout was fought mostly at long range, and you will see that lots of straight shots, but very high quality. I think both will go back to the dressing very proud of themselves, so really well done. Tell me, who's up next? So up next on the bout, we have Kenzo Warren from Arthurs against Stephen Boyland, AMC Boxing. That's also an XA. It is three twos, uh, novice bouts, both novice fighters. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm expecting... A similar sort of show from the boys there, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring out to the round. Definitely been a frantic start between Victoria uh, and Sonia and Young Jack there and Fraser. Some very high quality, uh, high quality boxing. So these, these are exhibitions, but it's been a frantic pace so far. Let's see if uh, the next bout can keep that going. So I believe you see Stephen Boylan getting warmed up there. Um, taps off as they say down the tune. Um, did see him warming up, did look like a very tidy back foot boxer there. Kenzo Warren, similar back foot boxer. We'll see who takes initiative, we'll see who presses forward. Can't wait to see it. Stephen looking pretty confident there. He's looking in fantastic shape. Makes me glad I wore a vest when I boxed. <laughs> you were always in good shape, Andy. Once upon a time, Josh, once upon a time. <laughs> I see that glint in your eyes. You're ready for another. So obviously the main event will be Inch versus McDonald. Two heavyweights, two titans clashing. Looking forward to seeing that. Very high skilled, uh, I mean, imagine a high work rate from what I've seen from Scott. I know that um, McDonald's a very similar fighter, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring. Scott, very nice, nice and light in his feet, very high volume puncture for a heavy. I couldn't believe it, he was in the gym on Thursday. I was getting tired looking at him, so we'll see what he brings on the actual fight night. Um, but now we're on bout three. Um, Kenzo Warren against Stephen Boyle in DMC. Kenzo, Arthur's Boxing Club. Um, novice bite, exhibition, junior fight. Let's see how it goes.
Stephen Boyle and heading to the ring. You can tell he's taking quite a travelling support. You can hear from the crowd there. Fantastic condition. Okay, so a reminder, this is uh, an exhibition. Kenzo, significantly younger than Stephen. Um, I think this will be a good experience for both fighters. Stephen looking in good shape, coming out to the middle of the ring. I'm expecting a fast start from Stephen. We'll see how Kenzo responds. Kenzo, quite a rangy fighter. <laughs> Moving off to the side, throwing that jab. Jabbing around the corner nicely, you can see the work rate there. You can see Stephen's a front foot fighter. Stephen looking for that right hand. Definitely looking for that right hand as Kenzo moves around the corner. We need to be aware of that and keep the guard up. Good bit of press in there. Kenzo responding well, keeping the guard up, keeping busy. Yeah, he's keeping busy while waiting to try and catch him coming in. Keeping the jab going, keeping him at bay, stepping off. Good job so far from both fighters. Definitely a much more traditional fight. I think we saw quite a mix up of styles oh. there. Steven, front foot fighter. Kenzo, back foot fighter. Steven landed a couple clean shots. Let's see how Kenzo responds. Kenzo, nice backhand, but Steven just stepped right on after that. Good acceleration through the gears there. Kenzo just finding the range. Keeping that left hand low, I'm wondering if he's looking for that check left yeah. hook. Not sure about that when Stevens come forward with the right hand, that might not be the best strategy. Good to see him coming around the corner though there. Nice high guard. When you have an aggressive come forward fighter, sometimes the best thing you can do is just reset him. Nice stiff jab, then that buys you the time for the space. Obviously that comes with the experience. Kenzo's coming around the corner, nice, keep lovely shape. Stephen just front forward, piling on the shots. Kenzo responding very well though, I'm impressed with that. Yeah, good counter. Last 10 seconds. Kenzo shakes it off. Good shot there from Kenzo himself. Stephen presses right back in the front foot. It's loaded on that front foot. He's looking for their backhand there. Good first round. Good first round, yep, definitely. Touch of gloves, sign of respect. So both corners will be giving advice. Um, if I was in Stephen's corner, I, I believe Arthur's going to tell him just nice stiff jab, just get by a bit of space there because Stephen is pressing forward. He is coming with a lot of intensity. I think sometimes it's good to buy yourself a little bit of space so you can start doing your nice tidy boxing on the end of that. Good to see him coming off the stool. Legs seem to be under him. Both fighters are going as a brilliant first round there. Looking forward to seeing round two. Here we go, round two. Round two, here we go. Kenzo keeping that left hand high. Firing back, good to see. Lovely little one two there. Good jab around the corner. Stephen still a very aggressive fighter. Good jabs around the corner there. I like to see that left hand a wee bit higher. There we go. Good exchange from both fighters there. Stephen's got a very good guard. He keeps it high. He comes forward. 
Kenzo is looking to slip there and counter. Good shot from Stephen there again. Kenzo needs to go off those ropes, so fire off, reset yourself, give yourself some space. Doing a good job, Stephen. Yeah, he's doing a good sides. job. This is round two, and traditionally, first fight, this is where you'll start to feel the legs go. Pressure from the crowd, expectations, you will feel the adrenaline sap you. Um, but both fighters doing a great job keeping the standard high. Stephen throwing that big right hand. That's definitely a shot that's worked for him. Kendall still keeping that left hand out. Nice to see that little one-two-one. 2 one 2 one The rest of our shot, as we say, in Poland. Good shot coming off the ropes there. Both fighters doing well. Good exchanges. The pattern you're seeing is Stevens definitely starting exchanges. Kenzo seems to be coming off the ropes, finishing. Very even fight so far. As I said, needs to keep those pitter patter shots going until he finds the range. Stevens still looking very aggressive. He's looking for a big shot. Yeah, condition looks fantastic there. Good job from Kenzo. Stephen coming with that right hand to the body, changing levels. Oh, oh lovely overhand right there. That's what I was saying. If you're circling to the left, your opponent will pick up that pattern. You do need to have a stiff jab on the end of that, keep him off. Good round though, good round though. Here comes the replays there. Steven still it. coming forwards. Here we go, big right hands. Kenzel maybe looking for a counter. I don't know if we're going to see it, but there was a lovely overhand by Steven at the end of the round. Quality, very ferocious pace for an exhibition. Very impressed with that. Both fighters. Condition seems to be good. Um, Stevens, I think he's oh. spotted that that overhand right's working for him. Kenzo still spearing those straight shots down the middle. Even though this is an exhibition, I think Stevens want to leave his mark on this third and final round. I think so. I think he's um, going through the gears a little bit here. Kenzo, some nice straight shots. Fantastic for the time that Kenzo's been in the gym. I think his, uh, his shape, his conditioning, techniques, not let him down at all there. Great to see him firing back. That's what you want to see. And the best defense is often offense. Here we go. Yeah, you need to have a keep away shot. That was a good reset. That was a lot better. I like that. Take the center of the ring. Be the boss. Stephen come forward. Always leading with the right hand, I've noticed. That seemed to be a bit of pattern. Ooh, that was, if that had landed, that would have been a strong shot. Yeah. Kenzo nodding his head, telling. It's the, the lead left hand dropping. Uh, I think that needs to be a little bit higher to protect yourself from those shots. He's, yeah, I think that's Arthur's instruction there. I can see it going higher. That's, an, that's a common mistake. It's something I've made myself. I've heard Arthur oh, yeah. tell me, keep my left hand high many a times. Oh, yeah. That's your radar. That's where you find those big looping shots. But no, nope, good. Good to see him going back to the jab. Good reset. Stephen coming on. Kenzo needs to keep firing. A little pause in the action, and now back comes Steven. Nothing really landing there, but you can see the intent there. Lead him with that right hand. That's definitely a shot that's worked for him. I can see why he's going for that. There you go. Kenzo just checked out of that in the nick of time. Good straight shot from Kenzo right back. can see the le legs maybe a bit heavy from Kenzo. You'd expect that for the first fight. Good jab, though. Yeah. His first fight. Last, Last 10 second. seconds. Go. We're going to have a wee exchange at the end there. Come in the corner. Heavy. Good to see. Good first fight. Enjoyed that. You could see Stephen pressing the action. Kenzo responding very well. Should be proud of his efforts there.
quality effort from both fighters. I really enjoyed that. Clearly respect between both of them. Brilliant work rate again. These are exhibitions, but ferocious pace. Three times two minute rounds. Um, up next we've got bout four, which is the final one of our exhibitions. Aidan Warner against Liam Mullen. Looking forward to this one. Liam fighting out at North Ayrshire. Aidan is from Arthur's Gym. Here we go, seeing some of the action from the fight. Stephen coming forward, being the aggressor. That was the story of the fight. Kenzo maybe looking for a counter shot. He did fire back a few times. primary main event is Inch vs McDonald we're looking forward to that one up next we do have Aidan Warner versus Liam Mullen should be a good bout um, both fairly inexperienced but we're looking forward to it very much in good shape and then after that we'll have our contest the first of our um, officiated judge contest that'll be Ryan Bachelor Bachi against Grant King Ryan from Arthur's Boxing Grant from AMC Boxing I think we're ready for bout number four, which is another exhibition, three twos, Aidan Warner versus Liam Mullen. can see Liam warming up there. Looking 
looking nice and loose, nice and relaxed, just waiting to get called in. Crowd behind the boxers there, good to see. <laughs> Liam coming to the ring, looked very relaxed in the warm up, let's watch them in the changing room. Once again, decided to go taps off. <laughs> taps off, nips out. Crowd getting behind the home fighter there, good to see. Good support in the crowd here tonight. Looking confident. Seems to be enjoying himself, that's what we want to see. Reminder, this is the final of our exhibitions. Three two-minute rounds. Both fighters looking relaxed. Equal parts Lucy and Goosey. Here we go, round one. This may be a fiery contest, crowd are behind the boxers. Oh. Yep, and we've started off on the front foot, nice and frantic pace. Oh, good shot there. A wee bit scrappy, both fighters need to settle back, get back to their boxing. A lot of energy in the room right now. Definitely, you can feel the partisan home crowd. Good head movement there, but good shot coming back there from Liam. Feints, changing levels, speed in the jab. Good shot there, working when you get the chance, that's what you need to do. Seems to be fairly elusive. Nobody's really landed anything clean, you'd say. That could change in a heartbeat. Oh, there we go. Nice exchange there. Mullen the southpaw. Warner the orthodox. Always interesting matchup. Oh, good speed in right hand. That's what you need to do against southpaw. Fire the backhand straight down the middle. There you go. Nice one from Liam. Interesting matchup though. Both fighters seem to be looking for the backhand. Nobody's really established the jab, which is always the key when you've got the South Pole Orthodox matchup. Lead hands quite low. Um, oh, good backhand there. Let's see what comes back. Good, that's good to nice see the jab down. coming back. You can hear the crowd getting behind the home fighter there. Seems really. Oh, lovely backhand there, right down the middle. I think he's getting a standing eight. No, I think they're getting a reminder that this is an exhibition. Just a gentle reminder there from the referee. Some of the backhands were maybe a little bit too tasty. Last 10 seconds. Good first round, nice and aggressive. Both boxers, I think the ref was quite right. Settle down, boys, that's an exhibition, but quality boxing there. Um, I enjoyed Aiden, nice and composed. Seemed to have a good idea. You can hear the home crowd. Um, he definitely was trying to get the backhand going. Liam there, southpaw, can be tricky when you've got an aggressive orthodox, but he is trying the wheelhouse, he's trying to wind up, here's a wee replay here, nice backhand there on the back foot from Aiden. backhand there, you see him, Liam taking these shots well though, good jab over the top from Liam, bit of pressure, Aiden right back into the shape, that's what you want to see. Lovely spear shot there, round two. 
There we go, both fighters looking fresh. Aiden is definitely enjoying the home crowd. Aiden doing a little dance almost. There we go. Good jab over the top. That's what you want to see. Establish a jab, then the other things will come. Good backhand oh, though. Nice He's slip. definitely looking for it. Definitely looking for the backhand as Aiden. Um, Liam changing levels, staying elusive. Just like nice. that, good to see. There you go, nice and relaxed, and getting that little bounce. Throwing that jab out. Little pendulum fainting. step. In and out, in and out. Moving off to the side. Good jab though. There we go, up coming forward with the chin down, but got away with it there. Chin up, sorry, should I say. Faints there. He's got the crease, now what's he going to do with it? Just getting the head guard sorted out there. Sometimes the best well in the world, the home crowd won't quite understand. These things need to be tidied up to keep both fighters safe. A lot of support here tonight. Definitely. Aiden looking very relaxed. Aiden is loving it tonight. Here we go. Right to the centre ring. That's what we need to do. Take centre ring, be the boss. Seems to be understanding that. Oh, showing, very the, comfortable. showing the right coming over the top, definitely very relaxed there. Doesn't look bothered at all by fighting a southpaw. Great to see. When, as soon as you start landing the jab against whatever stance you're fighting against, that's when you know you've got a little bit of control there. Nice Good backhand right hand. as well. Ref maybe just saying, settle down boys, we an exhibition, understand that. There you go. Good body shot there from Liam. I think the crowd's definitely giving Aiden a wee boost here. You can see very relaxed, good backhand there again. Landed on the money. Still keeping that jab going nicely. I'm enjoying the wee pendulum step he's getting yeah. in. You can tell he's loose. Last 10 seconds. Good backhand. Stepping off. Good round again there. It'd be interesting here what the coaches are saying. I'd imagine Arthur would be saying more of the same. Here's a wee replay here. What are we seeing? You can see Aiden doing that pendulum step coming over. Missing with the left, come back with the right. That's what you want to see. Little pressing, diagonal movement, landing in with the backhand. Bouncing out of range there before Liam can fire back. Lovely shot there. You can hear the crowd behind the home fighter. Here we go, coming up in round three. A reminder, this is an exhibition. There'd be no way of knowing from the frantic pace it's been fought at. But this is an exhibition. Both fighters getting some time in the ring there. Aiden, home fighter. Big back and you can hear them. Lovely wee jab there over the top from Liam. Good space to just try things. as an exhibition. See what style works for you. I think Aiden's definitely found his rhythm there. The backhand's worked for him all night. Good jab there as well. Coming around the corner. Finding the crease. Good shot there. Back from Liam. Aiden's still moving round. Liam's coming back though. Still on the front foot. Liam's been hit with a few hard shots and he's not been faced. He's still coming forwards. But the crowd is all on Aiden's side right now. Good shot there from Aiden. I like how he's got the, the backhand pinned to the chin. He's keeping the left hand a wee trigger as soon as he sees the space. He's just firing the backhand down. Crowd very partisan getting behind both fighters there, great to see. Oh, good job there. We breaking the action there. 
Eden still throwing out that jab. Good jab. Oh, there's the drop backhand. Lovely. Little reset with L step. Coming around the corner. Very textbook boxing. Lovely to see. Good accuracy as well. Definitely. Very disciplined. I think Liam maybe feeling the pace there, understandably. Late replacement, he's definitely stepped up to the mark here. Good job there, still on the front foot, great to see. Good job over the top there. Last 10 seconds. Jabs around the corner from Aiden. Liam's found a range, I think he's just keeping away. Oh, good straight Take shot there. Hands. And time. Good fight. Brilliant exhibition, ferocious pace. Right, both fighters should take a bow there. The crowd yeah. definitely got their money's worth there. They're all on their feet. Very good technique from Aiden and big heart. Big heart from Liam. Beautiful right hand there to end the fight. Final round. Great reset as well, just working around the corner. Good to see that, both fighters enjoying the moment, going for a photo in the ring, why not? Quality fight, great to watch. Up next we have the first of our contest, it's about five, it's Ryan Batchelor, aka Batchy, against Grant King of AMC. Ryan is the home fighter from Arthur, I'm imagining he's brought a large support with him tonight, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Great to see that respect from the fighters there. Yeah. Both showing respect for each other, but I'm really looking forward to Ryan's fight here. It's his first fight. He showed some really good technique in the gym. I think he was in good shape before he came, but he's definitely in even better shape now. Really good cardio, really good stamina. Let's see how he does in his first fight. Here the crowd already starting to get behind Batchy there. As Josh said, very technical boxer. Uh, um, fit, uh, fit, popular young lad in the gym. Good laugh, great to be in the stable, and I think he's really going to put on a show tonight. Not sure about his opponent, Grant. Looks like a big fit lad himself, so it should be a cracker about that. It's our first contest, so the judges will be deciding. It's a 10-point must, so it's similar to pro scoring. Uh, it is three two-minute rounds as well.
Here comes Grant from AMC Boxing coming out there. This should be a tasty contest. First of our judged contest, it's three twos. Um, both fighters, it's a first fight. Here he comes to the ring now, brought a, a massive travelling support here. Again, you should hear the crowd behind both boxers. Got the Claytos on, puncher's gloves. Let's see how he uses them. Here comes Batchy coming to the ring now. I spoke to Ryan earlier tonight. He's very excited for this. He's very excited for his first fight. Both fighters just getting their final instructions. Nobody's going to throw the playbook out now. I'm imagining that Batchy's going to be boxing off the back foot, working around the corner. He does that very well. Grant, not had the chance to see him spar, but he does look like a very fit young lad. Looks like he'll be a come-forward fighter. We'll see how the styles blend. This is a contest, so it will be judged. Interesting to see what the judges look for, Josh. Are they going to look for the back foot fighter, or are they going to look for the aggression of King? We shall see. Well, as you know, we might give a, an unofficial scorecard, but ours could be very different from the judges. Wildly different. <laughs> <laughs> round one. Here we go, round one. Well, I see you can establish in. their jab first. Oh, there's a backhand there. This pace is sounding frantic. We have a swing and a miss from Ryan, but he came back from it. Needs to settle down. Needs to start with a tidy straight shots. That's what will win him the fight. I think King settled a wee bit earlier. There you go. That's what you need. Just start working the jab. Everything else will come off of it. Ryan's got nice long arms, popping that jab. He can hit his opponent just before he can hit him. Let's see if he can make use of his range. There you go, that's what you need, Ryan. Good little flurry there from Bache, but let's see how King responds. Grant coming forward, body shot. Both fighters exchanging well there. Oh, good right hand there, tidying it up. Both boxers need to tidy it up, I believe. Good jab from Batchelor, that's what he needs to do. Back to the jab, back to basics. There you go, find the jab. There you go, there oh, you go, nice now right the shots hands. come. Good jab there. Good shot round the corner there. Good backhand. Ryan is a counter puncher, but I can say from experience he can put it on when he wants to. I think Ryan's decided that he's going to be the aggressor here. You can see it's taking him a while to settle into it. I think King, a bit more settled. Grant is looking for a big right uppercut. He's thrown it a few times and missed. Nice jab there by King. Bachelor responds as well. Nice Good slip. hook coming back with it there. I like to see that. Needs to start. Oh, good oh. uppercut. Lovely shot there from King. Batchy, nice jab round the corner, find the range. There you go, there's nice a backhand, counter. there you go. That's what we're looking for. Frantic first round there, how are you scoring that, Josh? Exciting first round. I think the judges have got their hands full trying to score that. Who, it's who do you like, you know. Batchelor maybe outputs a little higher, King maybe land the cleaner shots. I think Arthur will be telling Batchy, settle down in that corner. King, I'd be saying, just do what you're doing, it seems to be working. Away fighter, looks a little more composed, we'll see how he brings it into round two. Unofficially, if you were to give it to someone, who would you give it to, Andy? Personal opinion. I'm sitting on the fence, so this one, I think, around one. We'll see by round two who starts to establish. For me, it's whoever gets a jab working for them will start to take control of this fight. You can see both fighters doing the flashy shots, uppercuts, overhand rights. They need to start establishing the jab and working off of that, and then we'll see. Both fighters on their feet, ready for round two. Here we go. There we go, working from the jab. Both landing jab shots. to the body, yep. Exchange of jabs, getting that long range. Ooh. Gambled and got it with that right hand, but back comes King, good jab there from Bachi. King putting it on, good aggression. He's enjoying that uppercut just as Bachi leans on, that's what he seems to be going for. That rear uppercut. Let's see if it plays a factor. Good jab there again from Bachi. There you go, 2-1.
There's that lead up a risky shot, they got away with it. And he's doubling up that backhand. Lovely yeah. work from King there. Grant's got some good movement, good head movement. He has landed a few clean shots now. Let's see yeah, how Ryan good responds. Body, good body shot from King there, and he's back with a jab. I thought Ryan did really well in the first round, but Grant's landed the cleaner shot good so Good jab far. there, that's more of what he needs. Use the range. Good body shot as well. And a right hand. Good jab there from Batchelor. King looking for that backhand, almost found that that would have been a hard shot if he'd landed it. Good shot from Batchelor. Ryan firing oh, back. Go. Good uppercut there. That seems to be King's best punch. It's a lovely right uppercut he throws. Seems to split the guard every time. There it is again. Good jab from Batchy. Exchange of jabs there. Right uppercut again. There's a jab there. Needs to throw the jab from a bit further out. That way the uppercut will not be landing. Keep the head away from the target. Good jab there. Both fighters feeling the pace a little bit. I think so. Ryan, they both have really good conditioning. This is not from a lack of training, but first fight, the nerves get to you, the excitement. Definitely, the home crowd is uh, making quite the racket and you can hear and you can see how it's affecting the fighters. Quality round two there. I think first round was really close. I'd maybe have liked to give it to Ryan, but second round, I'm maybe leaning towards Grant on that one unofficially. Judges could be seeing this differently. It'd be interesting to see how long he spent perfecting that right uppercut in the gym, because it's a lovely shot he's throwing. You can see, I don't know if we'll see in the replay, he's waiting for Batchelor to fall in with the jab a little bit. Let's see if we get it. There it is, there boom. It is. Waiting for him to fall in with the jab and then counter him with the right uppercut there and re-establishing the jab. Lovely work from King there. Batchelor nice and tidy. You can see him getting the range back, not panicking. But that is a lovely shot, definitely eye-catching. Just a little bit off balance there. Here we go, round three. Final round, a reminder, the judges will be scoring this on a 10 points must. Let's see if Ryan's regained Ooh, his, a, uh, his breath. Oh, that was an all or nothing right hand. Both fighters yeah, going go. for it. Fixing the old head guards. Sometimes that's the worst feeling, knowing you've left something out there. Definitely. Good job there. There we go. Both fighters tired. Both fighters output has been fantastic throughout. Give and take, give and take. There you go. You see it again there. Give and take, give and take one. I think they definitely deserve a stand ovation. I hope they get it. Oh, hope they oh sure. what a shot there oh. from Bachelor. Come back with a left hook. Good Ryan shot from King body. again. Give and take, give and take. That's what we've been getting all fight. Both landed. Oh, now up. Ryan's trying the right I uppercut. I think he's had a look at that and thought, you know what, that's a tasty shot. I I'll like try that, that out. Shot. Yeah, I'm going to try that. You know, Ryan does have a really good overhand right sometimes. He's landed that on me. Oh, he gets caught with a good good shot there. He turns, he gets out the way. Getting These a wee bit shots. ragged there, a wee bit ragged there. Fighter splitting up, turning out the head guard. Good right hand from Bachi, there you go, piling it on. You can see the fatigue Big from shots. the fighters. Ryan a little bit in trouble here. I think he might be getting a wee standing eight here. Ryan looking a little bit like he needs to catch his breath, he is okay. No, oh, ref it off. I'd say correct decision there from the ref. I think that was more down to the legs being gone from the, um, the adrenaline than any actual punishment he took, but the ref's there to keep you safe. Yeah. Um, that's his job, that's his call that he needs to make. You've got to go with that. Referee's job is better safe than sorry, just like the doctors, just like the trainers. They have to be there for the fighter first. Definitely. All fighters want to go out in their shields, but someone needs to be there to protect them. Ryan Bachelor, a good fight. Bachelor will be back. I think he's, um, he's, a, quality, he's a quality, quality boxer, a brilliant technician. Um, it'll be it'll be taking that hard, but you know what? That's uh, that's your first fight. You'll feel the nerves. You'll feel the legs going a little bit, and I think King maybe just a little bit more relaxed. Here we go. I see a little bit of the action. I think uh, there's a lovely spear jab there from Bachelor, and I think King just gambled a little bit. He saw that the backhand was working for him. There's another lovely jab from Bachelor. Here you go. Just piling on, and the legs are a wee bit ragged. Nothing really landing. 
So jab there again. Don't know if we'll get it on the replay. Good, Good right backhand hands. from Batchelor Just clipped again. him. Clipped him in the end. There's a lovely spear jab. I think that's that a backhand there. Right so you can see their feet hook. aren't quite under him. The lovely uppercut again. He's been throwing all night. There you go. Boom. Falling up with the left. Right hand again. And again, the ref's there to keep you safe. So here we go. No qualms about that. Brilliant contest though. Three minutes. Frantic. to keep the chin up because as I say first fight you feel the legs go um, got caught with a brilliant shot as I say very impressive King there some lovely work that he was doing with that backhand uppercut in particular but actually maybe didn't establish the jab as well as he maybe could have and he has done in the past but you know what first fight that's how it goes and brilliant contest I think the fans definitely got their money's worth there oh for sure Grandpa on a great performance Ryan came in he was looking sharp he was looking good but sometimes just first fight you know I guess a bit too much and he fought he fought to the end he would have kept going no matter what again good to see the ref there great officiating his job's to keep you safe there and you know you always hear on the side of caution which is what you want to see so well done ref that's off to you that's off the both fingers Going to have an interview with the winner, Grant King. I hope he mentions that uppercut. Okay. Well, Grant, how do you feel about that bike today? How's it go tonight? Not too bad, mate. It was a bit scrappy. No, like myself. I like to be merry a boxer, you know what I mean? Mere stable, mere controlled. That was too scrappy, but I got the win, so I'm happy. Uh, it looked good to me. Anything you'd like to thank before you go? Yeah, well, what I thank you for being the host, mate. That's what I want to thank. What I thank you, ref, for being such a good ref. Thank you very much, mate. That's just about that. Thank That's you well. to, thank well. you to MC, MC Boxing and Arm McClure and Big Eddie. But if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Congratulations, Grant. You're going to enjoy your thank victory. You. All the best. Next contest up, we have Corey Cameron from Arthurs, it's 3 twos again, and Mateusz Platonitski from Adam Saleta's boxing gym in Livingston. I'm imagining Mateusz will be a very technical fighter, um, having boxed a fighter from there previously myself, um, very technical fighters, very fit. Um, Corey, Arthur, home fighter, um, he's, a, he's a new dad, he's a family man, he's really looking forward to getting in the ring, so we'll see how this goes.
This is Mateusz coming out. Here we go, Here Corey, Corey Cameron. Okay, so Corey, Southpaw. He's watching the gym on Thursday, very relaxed. Um, seems to seems to have his style down. Uh, Mateusz looks like a big fit lad. Um, interesting choice of shorts. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, see, we'll see how, how it goes. Yeah. The, the white gloves and the leopard print shorts was never my forte, but we'll, uh, we'll see how <laughs> it brings either. it forward. Corey coming out in the classic black and gold, black with gold trim. Oh, there we go. So again, this is a, a contest, so there will be a ten-point must from the judges. Um, and works three two minute rounds. Looking forward to seeing Corey. Just waiting to get started here. This is the second of our contests. Up next, we have Ian Renton versus Robbie Cullen. Um, looking forward to that one as well. That's another Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup, so we've got a few of those tonight. Um, let's see how this pans out. Here we go, round one. Here we go, Southpaw coming out. Working the jab around the corner. Let's see if Corey can take advantage of the Southpaw stance. He seems to be trying to work around the corner, and Mateusz seems to be trying to line him up for that one too. There you go. Good backhand there. Corey being disciplined so far. Good shots. Good shots to the body. Mateusz looks like a big fit lad. I reckon he'll take these all day long. Condition looks good. Good reset. You can see Mateusz just drawing the leg back, trying to walk Corey into the space there for that shot there. There you go. Gets him up against the ropes. He's Corey firing back. There you go. Mateusz looks like hard to pick his style. He was back foot at the moment ago, and now he's going on the front foot. Seems to be quite a confident fighter. Good shot there from Corey, though. Backhand is a nice shot for him. A bit Getting frantic a, here. A wee bit ragged, yep. But good, tucked up, sorted old TD. Bit of pause in the action, bit of circle in, feeling out with the jab. Both looking for that rear hand shot. Mateusz, nice little swim there. Skip the hand down, throw the jab over the top. Lovely shot. Just, Just missed. missed with the backhand. Yep, I saw that. Missed a couple of times. Corey might be feeling confident about that, being able to slip the shot. Mm. Just referee giving a wee warning for pulling down there. Well done, ref. Keep it nice and clean. This is uh, Corey's first fight, as far as I'm aware. He's yep. doing really well so far. He definitely has. And he's definitely got that idea with the southpaw. You can see he's trying to creep that lead foot out. Mateusz looks like he knows what's going on there. He seems to have the strategy for it. Again, nice little dip and slip there. I like that. Yeah. All he needs to be able to do is throw a counter punch on the end of it. Good backhand from Mateusz. Piling on a bit. Oh, covering up. End of the round. I think he stole the round there with that little flurry. The old Quite sugary possibly. Leonard, last 10 seconds, <laughs> fire it on, like that. Good round for both fighters, though. Definitely. Looked like a bit of a settling in round for Mateusz. I think Corey, yeah. maybe a little bit frantic, needs to settle down. You can see Arta giving that instruction there. Back to straight shots, back to basics. But Mateusz again, not on the stool, Corey taking a wee seat. Yeah, quality first round. Good action again, all contests fairly even. I've enjoyed all of them. It's definitely good matchmaking going on here. Um, 
Yeah, South Bob Airs Orthodox, always an interesting one. Corey getting a wee bounce on the feet there. I think Arthur was telling Corey to move round to his right. He's from the South Bob stands, yeah. very sound advice. Here we go, round two. Round two. Again, Mateos looks so relaxed there. There we go, back to his stance, touch gloves, good to see. Corey circling, Mateos piling on a little bit there. I think he maybe, maybe saw something at the end of that round that he liked. Corey getting the distance back, good to see him firing back there. Yeah. Definitely. Good body shot around the corner there from Corey. Oh, Mateos tried to be pendulum set, bouncing back in, just didn't work for him, but good idea there. Good acceleration, oh, good judge of distance there, that was whiffed by there. There you go, piling on a little bit, a little bit frantic again, maybe needs to settle into it. Oh, it's got those that backhands again. are flashing past, aren't they? There it is, that's it landing Corey there. Getting tags. He's covering up, he needs to fire back though. He might be absorbing Ref most of these shots. Closely. He might be getting the standing eight here. Yep, good decision, yep. Ref. A lot of those shots might have looked blocked, but when you're not firing back, the ref will oh, the give ref you a stand for, yep. And that's him. Ready to go again. Just needs to tidy up. I think Mateo's smelling blood a bit there. I think Corey needs to move around. Fire back for the jab, keep him at bay. There you go, that's what you need to do. Just snuff it, just snuff it. Close the distance, reset. Ref will break you up. Might get a warning, but he gets you a wee bit of time. Got caught there again. Yep. Switching to that corner angle, you can see Mateo circling to the right, trying to line up that big backhand. Correa needs to get his radar up, needs to remember where he is in the ring. Yeah, back to basics, he maybe loaded up on that last shot. He was doing well early in the fight. Yep. Just needs to keep that jab going. There you go, that's a good shot around the yeah. corner, though, answering him back well. Basic shot, but he's executing it well. Yep. Getting a warning there, maybe for rabid punches. Yeah, ref is very safety first, but you do like to see that. So again, you see that diagonal movement coming up. Needs to fire back. Needs, needs to, to fire, fire back. back. He needs to move. Getting saved by the bell potentially. Oh no, he's there. getting the count there. He he's getting, getting the count. count. Well done, ref. Good decision. Check if he's okay. Get a wee bit of time to recover in the corner there. Mateus lining up that backhand. He's definitely accelerating through with that 2 1 2. That right, left, right. Prava, leva, prava. <laughs> Seems to be working well for him. I think that's exactly the advice the corner's giving them there. That right, left, right. Working very well for him. Looks like the referee's over in Corey's corner. Yeah, he needs to see something back. Covering up's not enough. It's good that he's telling him that, though. Definitely. It's good information to have. Yeah, it's a learning experience, isn't it? First bout, get used to it. I think that's what Arthur's saying as well. I think Arthur's saying he needs to see something. Very much a safety first coach, which we do like to see. Right, well, let's see it. Corey circling. Oh, good body shot there. Start the round. Pushing out the jab. That's what I like to see from Corey. Just range finders. Keeping your opponent at bay, looking for a bigger shot. Ooh, good just shot like there. that. He's coming out strong right now. Nice good body shots. shots. Mateus looks a very big, strong lad. I reckon he'll take body shots all day long. It's maybe Twice smothered. on Sunday. A little bit smothered there. Good thing it's a Saturday. <laughs> good shot there. Been impressed with this in terms of Mateusz. Definitely seems to have the measure of the southpaw style. Corey showing a lot of toughness there, and I think it's a good learning fight for Corey to see how to navigate a good, tough, orthodox fighter. Knows how to box against you. Sometimes us southpaws think we've got the magic wand when it comes up to matchups. Yep, you will have people who have your number, and you need to think about it and think about a strategy against it. But no, good contest, good body shot there from Corey. Yeah, he is looking for that rear left hand. He is, Mateus accelerating through. Mateus switching southpaw, just for a moment. Oh, good backhand there. Corey comes back though. 
probably doing much better in this round so far. Definitely. Seems to have just composed himself a little bit. Realised it's the last round. Changing the levels. Good shots. Mateusz come back with that backhand. That's been good for him. Well, breaking the action there. Moving round. Good point jab there. Trying to find the angle. Mateusz doing that old pat down. Oh, good shot coming back from Corey, though. Very good. Last 10. Both fighters will see the bell, which you like to see. Corey coming on a wee steaming charge there. Good to see. Mateusz coming back. Oh, Corey, just a push there. Just a I push. a push or a slip. Yeah, ref saying just a push. Up you get. Good first fight from Corey. Very Mateusz good fight. composed, stepping on with that 2-1-2. Rastvasha, Prava Leva Prava, whoever you want to call it. <laughs> but he's doing it well. Um, very tough boy, obviously. And Corey, great learning fight for him as a southpaw. Um, taller opponent, fat opponent. Back to the drawing board, yeah. see what we need to learn. But no, really well done for all fighters. Absolutely. And after two standing eight counts, he came out in the third round. A bit down in the mouth guards. And um, he left it all out there. That's what you want. He'll be proud of himself tonight. Good decision there from the judges. I don't think it was ever in doubt. Corey boxed well, obviously took the two standing eights. Mateusz, I think, a little bit fitter. He obviously has been well schooled in how to box a southpaw. You can see the ref just giving Corey the wee message there. When you're covering up, you need to fire back. Um, learn and fight for him. I think he'll definitely be back. Yeah, I hope to see him again in the gym soon. Here's your replay there. Mateusz just piling on the shots. And again, as I say, the ref, he's not seeing anything. He needs to answer back there. This was the one where I think we got a wee count and it's a good decision from the ref. Yeah, as you can see there, most of the shots were blocked, but as we said earlier. Do you feel you won every round there or do you think the, your opponent took anything from that? I'd say uh, last round was a draw and uh, two for me. <laughs> you like to say thanks to Andy before you go? Uh, yes, thank to my, thanks to my girlfriend Anna and Adam Salata Boxing Club. Thanks very much, Matthews. Congratulations. Thank you. Up next, we have Ian Renton versus Robbie Cullen. Ian's 33 years old. He joined for the fitness and fell in love with the sport. He's very keen. He's someone that's um, aspired a few times. He's been on a journey. He's lost a lot of weight. Very proud of him already. Let's see how he does in his first first bout tonight.
Out comes Roby. Fight nerve, IKMS. Looks in good condition, and I believe this is another Southpaw Orthodox matchup, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Out comes Ian. Ian's had quite the journey to the ring. Started off in Arthur's just to um, get himself in shape. We battle weight loss journey. He's went through the gears, and now he's wanting to try himself out in the ring. So hats off to Ian. Let's see how this goes. Here we go, round one. Looking forward to this one. Ian coming out quite aggressive so far. Landing some really Very good shots. aggressive start from Ian there. Robbie staying composed oh. so far, but he's getting hit with a lot of big shots. Referee Ref taking a, a really yep, good you look. Can see that. I think these are more off balance, just settle you down shots. There's a push there. I'm not sure if the ref will respond to that. Ian does have a, a real oh, aggressive good look shot. Oh, double backhand. I think the legs wobbled a wee bit there, but he's back on his feet. Robbie clearly has good condition. Have you got oh, hit with good a shot? Good job there. It's conditioning that brings you back. Oh, that was a good shot there from Robbie. Yeah. Ian doing the right thing, tying, tying up. up. Get your breath back. That's it, fire and back. And back. Ian maybe gassed himself out a little bit early yeah, on. Yeah, it was a fight. frantic rope. Not sure if that was an option. Just a wee tangle. That happens a lot when you get your South Pole yeah. Orthodox. The front foots come together and you get that little tangle. Um, back we go. I think Corner's telling Ian to settle down. Back in the jab. That looks a little better. Ian trying to slap down that jab of Robbie the Southpaw. Good body shot there. Good jab over the top. Oh, swing and a miss there, but it comes back with a backhand. He is defending well, but he needs to fire back. He's oh, taking too many there. shots now. And tying up there wisely. Needs to fire back, needs to fire back now. Last 10 seconds. Again, a standing eight count. Very back and forth round there. I think both yeah. fighters have been frantic. Ian probably took the first half of the round in my books, yeah. but Robbie came Robbie up and came back very the round. strong. I think there was one shot that turned out. I think Ian had thrown a wee flurry, maybe got a little bit ragged. Robbie came back with the backhand, caught him very cleanly, and you saw the legs wobble a wee bit. Both fighters have been wobbled. Yeah. Um, but I think that was a good call by the ref, giving him the eight count there. I think Ian hopefully gets the legs back under him. Back to boxing, and then we'll see how he comes out in the next round. Robbie came back well. Let's see if Ian can do it. Quality fight again, though. Frantic, frantic pace. Robbie looking quite composed in the corner. Ian, it's his first fight. He's improved a lot in conditioning, but first time, nerves get you, adrenaline's going. Yeah. How a wee look there. Technically a very even matchup. Good to see Ian back, getting the legs under him. See how they come out for the second round. Ref having a wee look. Here we go, round two. And round two. Ian circling well. Again, that's your Southpaw Orthodox there. You miss a shot, you get caught square. You're going to get knocked back. I think Ian's seen stars a bit. Yeah. I think that's the right decision there. It's unfortunate for Ian, he was boxing really well, but mm. sometimes that's it only takes one clean shot. That's always the danger when you're Southpaw Orthodox. Those backhands are lining up, and when you get caught, you get caught. Um, Robbie coming over now, showing some respect. Good to see you checking and see how he's doing. great sportsmanship there. Yep, uh, Ian came out ferociously. Um, I think the pace maybe got to him a little bit. Yeah. But caught with some clean shots. 
Franklin Doctor's doing a wee check over now. Seems to be getting his breath out, seems to be a bit more about yeah. him there. Um, but no, brilliant fight. Um, ferocious pace again. Um, great to see. Both fighters again a really intriguing Southpaw Orthodox match up there. I mean, you could see that Ian seemed to have a good wee strategy coming off. He was working around the corner there, pressing with the backhand, maybe a bit too much success early doors. Um, Robbie's responded very well with the backhands, caught him clean, and since then it was a turnaround in the fight. He saw the backhand was working. Um, that last shot that um, stopped it, that's your classic uh, Orthodox falling into space. Southpaw landing a nice stiff backhand. Yeah, but there he is, both back on the feet, getting around the applause. Ian back on his feet. Good to see. Ian, he'll be disappointed, but he went out in his shield. And for Ian, how far he's came from when he first came into the gym. Um, Absolutely. Definitely credit to himself, and I think um, he'll he, be back in the gym, he'll be back working on the fitness, but no, yeah. definitely a, a ferocious debut, high-paced. Absolutely. Up next, we have Daryl Fairbairn from Arthurs against Stuart McClure from AMC. Hard, it was hard. It came, it came early and it came hard, but just managed to bide my time and, and got him out of there. He came out swinging for sure. It but you managed to control that, and as I say, a really good knockout for you. Try and stop, start slow, start slow, and build into it. And we, we managed to do that, and, and got a decent knockout, I think. And do you want to shout out? No, just I'm away for a chill and a beer. Oh, you're on work? <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Okay, here comes some replays. You see Ian starting off very aggressively, and you can see him piling on the pressure. Maybe getting on. a bit ragged. This is early on in the fight. Robbie Selton, now you see a bit more composed. Robbie just pumping the jab out. There's the backhand, snaps the head right back there. Fires the backhand, missed. Good hook there. And these are classic southpaw shots. So start with the hook, end with the backhand, backhand, backhand. And I think that and there's was the big, There's the ref giving them the eight count there. Yep. Good call from the ref. Just the end of the first round. There you see, you see Ian missing, falling forward into the shot. Obviously his momentum's coming forward. Robbie stepped on that backhand and caught him coming in, boom, there you go. And uh, those are the ones when you've got both forces meeting, that's always going to be a hard shot. Yeah. And the balance, of, of course, if you're squared up coming forward, the balance will knock you on your back there. Um, so yeah, definitely good, good stoppage there. Absolutely, good job by the referee. Interesting camera work. <laughs> I think I've seen this before in some uh, football matches. Very impressed with the referee tonight. Um, when he's had to, he's stepped in, he's let the fighters work. Um, he's given some really good standing eights just to look after the fighters. Seems to be a very safety first official. Very impressed with that so far. So well done to the ref. Hats off to you, sir. Seems like an experienced referee. I'm not sure 
Stuart McLeod again in the MC Fighter. They've taken a massive away support here. Out he comes. Once again, taps off. Got the Grants there, the boxers' gloves on, the old Lennox Lewis gloves. <laughs> Here we go, here's Stuart coming into the ring. Here's, here's Darrow in the ring now, getting a wee bit of advice from Arta. Good tune. I believe this is an 82 kilo bite, so bigger lads, light heavies, both definitely packing a punch. Let's watch how it unfolds. Chomping it in a bit, there's Stuart to get started. Round one, here we go. Stuart, very fast job, catches him early. I think that was maybe legs just got crossed up yeah. a wee bit coming around the corner there. We'll there's see how he recovers. Stewart's got a very Piling strong on the jab. straight shots. Ref will need to see some back here. This could stop early. Giving him another standing eight. Good decision, Ref, as we say, safety first. That'll coming back out. Ref will need to see something here. Good, going to the body. Set the feet and fire back. A little bit too frantic. Good body shot. That slip and rip's working. There's a backhand again. Referee waves it off. When you slip to the left like that, you're off balance. And if you do get caught, you're going to tumble. Um, Maybe it should have settled in the fight and built on the jab more. Kintel is disappointed, but you know, it's all learning. First fight, we all learn from it. Good decision by the ref there. The Grant Gloves paying for themselves already. <laughs> Up next we have Michael Fish from Arthurs against Dylan Lane from AMC. Again it's three twos. Looking forward to this. I've sparred a few rounds with Michael. He's improved a lot. You've sparred a couple. Not seen Dylan Lane before, but I'm looking forward to his performance.
Well, Stuart, sure, no messing about it there for the first second. How did you feel about that? It's my first fight, man. So I just like I've also got the best days, and I just wanted to done about it. So buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Can have it in better. Put on a great show. No chance for the very I start. I didn't know what to expect, so I just I just wanted to go and walk off my jab. As soon as the first one landed, I knew I knew I had him. You look classy doing it as well. MDL, else you want to shout out? The AMC boys, honestly, every warning on man, my wee brother, my wee brother, 21, 22 year old, he's, I'm looking up to him, what he's doing for all young boys now, it's amazing man, I just want to be part of it. These clubs are great, they really are. Uh, well done, Stu, you're going to enjoy you. your night. Here we go, here's some replays here. Piling on the shots. And again, you can see him walking around the corner, heads down, doesn't know, and then boom. When your feet aren't under you, that's what will happen. Good shot there from McClure. There you can see him just varying up the shots. Good decision from the ref, giving the standing eight there. And there you can the see he's just fight. pulling away. Yep, just pulling away, and the legs maybe aren't under him. And when you, even when you get clipped when you're in that stage, go. When you're clipped when you're in that stage, that's when the legs will go. Some interesting camera work again there. Very interesting. About nine, Michael Fish, Artos against Dylan Lane, again AMC. Michael come forward, aggressive fighter. We'll see how Dylan responds to that. This is a cool main event. Um, coming out to a good tune, I'm enjoying that already. Looks in great shape. Got the clay toes on, puncher's gloves. Getting the heat on now. Taps off again. There seems to be a theme here. Here we go, Michael entering the ring. As uh, Andy said, Michael is an aggressive fighter, but he needs to keep his hands up after he finishes his combination. Let's see if he can remember to do so, or let's see if Dylan can take advantage of that. Oh, I think we've left the gum shield in the dressing room. That's, uh, that's normally my trick at sparring. <laughs> I think I've left a gum shield after every sparring session. Little bits of me all around the gyms in Scotland. <laughs> A little bit of a wait here while we get the old uh, dentistry issues sorted out. 
Yep, Chris has run off to the, the locker room to go get it. Quick off the mark is Chris, who should be back shortly. <laughs> of course. Both fighters need to stay relaxed here. Sometimes these weights can be positive, give you some time and get your head together. Sometimes these weights can drain the old uh, the energy out of the leg. So we'll see how both respond. Both fighters just relaxing, staying composed at the moment. Or for maybe giving Michael some last minute advice. There we go, gum shield in, ready to go. This looks like another uh, Southpaw matchup. I don't know if this is just a ploy or this is how he's got up. Uh, yep, Southpaw. And the action begins, co main event. Oh, switch back to Orthodox. Thought that might have been a wee bit of uh, equal parts jiggery and pokery there. Dylan looking for that right upper cut. Frantic shot, yep. Hands down, hands need Michael. to go up. That's it, putting his hands back up. Dylan with a little pollen jab to set up that right hand down the middle. Good body shot in the right hook. Michael being the shorter fighter, so maybe start going to the body. Mm, he needs to find a way in there. I don't think he's getting it at the moment. Good job there. And you worry about going to the body when Dylan's throwing that rear uppercut as you're coming in. Mm. Michael's there trying it. forward, he's trying it. Good job. Good jabs there from uh, Dylan Lane. Keeping the short opponent off of him. But he's, yeah, he's setting up that right hand, isn't he? Good shots. I think I saw a cheeky right uppercut there again. They love that shot, don't they? Good left hook over the guard there. Boy, the shot, right hook, right hook. Michael looked in a bit of trouble there, but he's holding on, doing the right thing. Good jab from Dylan. It's a jab again. Looks to have a cracking jab there, jabbed it up. Pulling the head down, ref maybe giving the warning, well done, sir. Final seconds. Oh, that was an all or nothing shot. Good to get out of the way of that. Piling right hand over. Good round, frantic. I'm edging it to Lane, but very good fight. Can see Michael trying things to get inside there. What did you take away from that first round? Um, I'm thinking that Michael's looking for a way in. He's not quite got it yet. They're going jab for jab at times. Whenever you've got the longer reach, you're always coming come off worse than those exchanges. Uh, maybe needs to start changing levels safely. So I'd say maybe a jab to the body, jab to the chest. Maybe even a lead with the backhand and just pile on through, accelerate. Either way, when you're short fighter, you're going to need to gamble at some point. Yeah. Um, remember, this is first fight, so we'll see how many tools he has in the locker to deal with that. But doing well, trying it out. Um, Lane coming out with some lovely jabs, measuring distance. Seems to have a good wee knowledge of where he is in the ring. Here we go, round two. Body, body shot, shot, yep. Again, he's going to that body. Michael not sure where he is, pulling down the head again. Ref giving a wee warning. I think, I think that's maybe a final warning from the referee. I think so. I think he's a no-nonsense type of ref. Good, piling on there. Now you've closed the distance. Oh, Michael barely missing. Dylan threatening with that rear uppercut again. Yep. Oh, lovely little slip there. I like that. And coming back. Good. That's good work. Michael coming back. Throwing some good shots here. Got him in the corner. Coming off well. Coming off well. Uh, Lane ending the exchange very well after being under pressure in the corner there. Oh, good little layback counter there and closing up. Good action here. Lovely action, quality match up here. Enjoying this. Oh, good shot there. Need to fire right away when you do that slip, otherwise the opponent will reset and catch about a shot. 
both fighters maybe feeling the pace it has been frantic so far both fighters must be feeling it now oh good body shot there I like that they both landed good body shots Michael still piling it on though needs to tidy up after exchanges but yep piling on the pressure so Michael looks like he's enjoying himself here Settling in, but that uppercut's always oh. there. Needs to tidy up, needs to tidy up. Michael just trying to use his head movement, yeah. keeping his hands low. Getting the jab there. Good, double jab backhand, finishing on the hook. Needs to tidy up when he's pulling away though, I don't like that hands down. No, I think he's uh, trying to be a bit Prince Nazim Floyd Mayweather here. Good shot, so he's doing well coming forward. Michael needs those hands up. Good round there, very tough to score. I think that there's times that both fighters have had each other in trouble. Um, looking forward to round three. Me too. I think Dylan maybe stole the round there with the aggression at the end. Landed maybe a few good that, shot, clean that shots. That often catches the judges eye, the wee flurry at the end there. Um, Absolutely. Good bit of experience, good bit of ring generalship there from, uh, from Dylan. What would you be saying to Michael in the corner right now, Andy? I'd be telling him, settle down, double jab, backhand's working. When he piles that on, he's doing really well, but he needs to come off best in the, the exchanges. He needs to exit safely. So whether that's he smothers up after he lands his work or whether he's pivoting off, to be honest, I think the smothering up's working for him. That's what I'd be doing. Land a few shots, close the distance. Here we go, round two. But again, crowd getting their money's worth in these matchups. Starting off strong from Lane. Oh, good shot from Fish. Little slip and rip there. Good head movement from Michael, but he is keeping those hands low as he gets tired. He's coming strong oh. on now. This is give and take, give and take. Brilliant round so far. A little bit ragged. I think that's a standing eight. Yep, standing eight from the FL. Good decision. Michael should take every second he gets here yep. to recover. Michael saying he's fine, he wants to continue. Slipping right hand, going for that. Rear uppercut to the body, right hand over the top. Michael needs to fire back here, he's keeping his hands low, trying to tie up. Yeah, it's all about a wee bit of discipline there. When you're, when you're coming out, exit safely. That's maybe the lesson for this fight, but doing very well coming forward, but loving the head movement. Oh, the head guard's a wee bit ski with there. Michael's smiling, he is enjoying this. He definitely is enjoying it. And it, oh, lovely nice uppercut. Nice, right yep. uppercut. Just needs to tidy up the guard a little bit. Dylan's got a really good jab. Yeah, the educated jab there seems to be working well for him. Good straight right hand from Dylan Lane. First ball, oh, that was a shot. Michael but doing well, comes but again. he's covering a good now. shot, yep, need to get educated with it. Michael needs to keep his hands high. He might get a standing eight here, yep. Yep, there we go. And again, that's all experience, isn't it? It's when you land your shots, don't admire your work. Close the distance. Judges make me note in the jotter. There you go, that's a wee point for you. Oh, oh, oh. Ref's waving it off. I think the ref saw something that maybe we didn't there. Very close fight for as long as it lasted. I think that's what Arthur's tell them. Hands up when you're going out of the ring. But, very exciting debut, um, Fish, uh, very exciting debut for Michael, Dylan, used the experience, educated jab, back hands, gets a stoppage win there. So as I say, these are first fights for a lot of the boys in the ring tonight, and I think that was a great learning fight for Michael. Did himself credit, very, I was loving how creative he was being when he was under pressure, firing back, just when he's exiting those exchanges, just maybe a wee bit tidier, and then that snuffs your opponent's work, but you know what, quality matchup, 
Lots of heart from both fighters. Both fighters in trouble at times, yeah. and both fighters responding well. Michael going over, showing his respect for his opponent. Both fighters gave it their all. I think they're both feeling very happy right now. Michael enjoyed his first fight. He still looks animated. He still looks happy. Congratulations to both of them. Yep, quality fight. The adrenaline is pumping through the uh, Grangemouth Town Hall. I think I'll be up for a while, and it's not just the Red Bull that's keeping me up. So, brilliant, brilliant matchup <laughs> so far. Uh, we're on to about 10 up next. Obviously, our main event, we've got Scott Inge versus David McDonald, David Aberdeen Combat, Scott Arthur's Boxing. Uh, this is three threes, so longer rounds. Uh, both fighters, very tidy boxers, heavyweights. Uh, really looking forward to this one. Well, Dylan, a good win there. TKO. I think we're just coming back out again anyway. How do you feel about that? I feel good about it. Plus eight, I feel like I've done well, so happy days, man. Good. Emphatic win for you. Henry, you want to give a shout out to? Boys at AMC Boxing Gym. They've done it for me, man. They're the best trainers. Congratulations, a good win. You're going to enjoy the night. Thank you, man. Cheers. A reminder, this is all raising money for the Thistle Annex at Kinnear Premier. Here are the replays now. So, oh, lovely shot there from Michael. You can see it was very give and take. Michael definitely was enjoying himself. First fight there. Um, there we go, getting a wee bit ragged. Lovely shot there. Big, meaty backhand, piling on the pressure. There's another overhand from Michael. It was very give and take, but I think the difference was when Michael was in trouble, uh, maybe exiting the exchange a bit untidy, getting caught with shots. Whereas opponent was a bit more, a bit more well schooled, maybe a bit tidier exiting the exchanges. But brilliant fight, quality yeah. to watch. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, Michael should be proud. He landed some really good shots. Maybe Ooh, just look not, that overhand yes, right was beautiful. Perfect takers. Some of his slips coming out were uh, were phenomenal. Just like that. Just like that. There you go. Hands down. Using the ropes. Yep, relaxed. I think this is a stoppage. Just piling on the shots. Refs look, taking a close look. Sometimes when you have that relaxed style, it can work against you. The ref can think you're maybe in the trouble a wee bit days when you're not. Yeah. But the ref, again, you can see quality officiating, just having a wee look there. Yeah. Um, a wee bit ragged, but the shots are piled on. Oh, that was a lovely shot. Give and take. See, a little bit tidier from Lane there, the opponent. Michael, just a wee bit untidy coming out of exchanges, but landing some cracking shots for a first fight. The range of shots he was throwing there, he should be very proud of his work. Um, definitely. Mind our main event, Inch McDonald up next. It's a charity boxing supporting Thistle Wing and Annex of Kinnaird Primary. 
really looking forward to this matchup. Both boys are uh, Titans in the ring. Um, 6 4, 6 5 easy. Um, big, lad <laughs> big laddies. Um, I think we're in for a treat here.
Okay, looks like we're heading back to the ring now for the start of our final bout. Uh, Scott Inch versus Dave McDonald, two experienced, experienced fighters, uh, heavyweights, big lads, very technical. We should see a great fight here. This is the main event of the evening. You've been dying to say that. Yes, I have. And as we say, the atmosphere has been electric here. Very partisan home crowd, but an amazing travelling support as well. Uh, very impressed with what we've been seeing. Uh, some great learning fights, some great exhibitions, and uh, some brilliant finishes as well. Uh, refs definitely saved first. He's done a great job in there tonight. And uh, really looking forward to seeing this uh, final bout. Hopefully some more really good highlight moments. Scott warming up now, looking loose, looking relaxed. Just waiting, I think both fighters are ready. We're just waiting for the ring walks now. Here we go, we've got the crowd behind them here. Bit of chatting for Scott, if you know the words, sing along at home. <coughs> Just shout out to our uh, camera crew, they've done a brilliant job capturing the moments from the fight, um, some great footage, and uh, I think the fighters look back on that. Be able to learn a lot from the footage um, and see what they get. Atmosphere reaching fever pitch here.
Just waiting on the main event now. Okay, that's our opponents making their way to the ground now. So we'll have Scott Inch and Dave McDonald's, I'm guessing, shortly. Okay, okay wee bit of a delay there. Maybe a last minute trip to make weight, you never know how this goes. Josh has rejoined me in the commentary. I was saying, Josh, maybe a last minute trip to make weight there, you never know how it goes. <laughs> Here comes David McDonald. Three three minute rounds. As you can see, David McDonald, a big guy, he is heavyweights. A big unit. It's a good thing we've got a big ring there. Having a wee bounce around. Feeling the ring there. Both experienced boxers. Should be a cracking matchup. Scott still looking relaxed. You can hear the support there for Scott Inch. Out comes Scott, hometown hero. Scott boxing with the black and gold. David boxing with the gold and blue. Scott in the blue, David in the red. Scott, excellent footwork for a heavyweight. It was very impressed with what I saw in the gym the other day. Um, David, I'm hearing similar things. Think it's a way a good matchup. Scott's looking like he's chomping at the bit, ready to go out. Just a minute out from the main event. Hometown hero Scott, you can hear the crowd behind them here. Amazing atmosphere here. Soaking up, looks like he's enjoying himself. Here we go. Phones are out, the crowd expecting big things. Once again, taps off. Nips out. Here we go. Round one touch of gloves. A lot of respect between both fighters um, and the build up to this, I'm looking forward to it. Scott, despite being a heavyweight, a very sharp fighter. This is another South Pole Orthodox matchup with uh, about a whole, uh, a whole season's worth in this one show. <laughs> can see Scott flicking out that jab. I think Scott, the heavier fighter, maybe want to put the, use the weight to his advantage. Oh, nice. good shot there. Nice counter. Sorry, David the heavy fire there. Both fights, a bit of a cagey start. Feel now. Scott, sorry, Scott Inch Scott being the aggressor. Scott looking to dig that shot to the body there, that backhand, I'm seeing that. Oh, there you go. Scott looking very focused. Looking to change levels there. Scott's... Oh, good shot. A reminder, these are three three-minute rounds. So a lot of time in the round. Scott being very disciplined, but opening up when he needs to. Good show of respect there between both boxers. And that'll always happen when you get the South Park Fox match. If the feet come together, it gets a wee bit scrappy at times. Lovely little turn off there from David. As I say, lovely feet for heavyweights. Scott looking for that wee level change. I think he's looking for the backhand to the body. There you go. And over the top with it. That seems to be the shot he's favouring to work his way in. 
David, traditional southpaw looking at flicky wee jab and the backhand off the back it. Good work from Scott so far. Lots of this work being smothered there. Good experience by McDonald. Scott really holding the centre of the ring. David's been forced to move around the edges. For a big guy, you've got to wonder if he's got the conditioning to carry that up for three three-minute rounds, but we'll see. Very even so far. Good job there. Scott looking for that level change again. Nice slip. Oh, gambled on the hook. Scott coming in and they clinch after. Lots of respect between both players. David pumping the jab out. Oh, just missed with overhand right. Scott there. David coming off. Nice shot. Scott countering. Good. Nice quick hands for a heavyweight Scott. I have noticed that. David, that flick jab, he's always ready for the backhand, you can see that. Scott seems to be very aware of that, respecting the power. I think both fighters respecting the power of each other. Um, crowd getting right behind Scott, as you can hear. Scott going for that body. Good backhand, oh, it's spun him around a bit there. Ref breaking it up. I wouldn't want to get between these two. Absolutely not. Scott fired him back. Got him in the corner. Good level change. Good good end to the end. Round. I'd say even round up to that point, I think Scott's just edged it on that little exchange at the end there. I would say the same. Looks like he's enjoying himself. David McDonald's getting some advice there, very animated. David from Aberdeen Combat Centre, Scott from Arthur Boxing Gym. Both fighters getting advice from the corner. I think both corners will be fairly happy with what they're seeing. Um, Scott might look to be a bit more aggressive coming out. He might save that for round three. David, I think he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. The jab's working well for him. Backhand's working well for him. Spare him with his work rate, but you would expect that from a larger man. Here we go, round two. Oh, lovely job again there, stepping off, stepping off to the his left, waiting for that backhand. Scott not falling for it, good shots there. He's just smothering himself very slightly when he's moving in. Mm. Very hard when you've got a big heavyweight and they're leaning on you, that's tiring as well, that takes it out of you. Get him in the corner. In there. Good footwork yeah, again from the big man, Dave. David lovely. can move away quickly when he wants to. Yep, and nice and relaxed with his shots. Scott's still doing good work here though, he's being the aggressor. Oh, good shot there. Nice. And the hook to follow it up. Varying the speed a little bit. Scott keeping that high guard and then firing. And dropping to the body, that's the shot that's worked for him, that's the shot he'll do. But again, David just working well off. Oh, overhand Hard right there, shots. felt that. That's what you do, you go to the body, then you go to the head. Scott flicking out the jab. Good respect from the fighters there. And back we go. David so far letting Scott control the pace of the fight a little bit. I think that's experience, Josh. He's uh, sitting back and seeing what he can do, but Scott's not really giving him space to do it yet. We'll see what this uh, looks like as we go into the second half of good, round two. Good that was a heavy shot, really loose. Scott comes back though, lands one to the body. Good job, just get the distance back, good work. Scott fighting for the jab now, you can see them both taking a wee break. Pace has been frantic for a heavyweight bout. David taking a, a big deep breath there. Taking a breather, that's maybe when you start working the body shots around the corner if you're Scott. Going for the head, there you go, there you go. Good work, Harper good work. the middle would be a good shot next time that happens, we'll see if he plays it. Jab's working well there again, David seems to have a very stiff jab, he's keeping Scott at range at times, um, while he gets his breath back. Oh, good nice. shot though. Turned him around. I think both fighters have proved they can take a shot tonight. David line up the uppercut. Dave right Scott beat him to it. Coming off Good the rope. There you go. Round the corner. And up the middle. 
There you go. Beautiful. Good work. Good right uppercut. Oh, Swing and a miss. It. Maybe an accidental headbutt in there somewhere. Very oh, common. Overhand right's working very well for Scott. Scott. Trying to fight for position for that uppercut. Didn't get it. Back to the distance. There you go. And again, Dave, nice and relaxed. Oh. Scott ste stepping on the last few seconds of the round again. And that's round two. I think Scott took that one as I well. I think so. A similar tactics to the last round. I think it was a little bit more aggressive this round. And definitely stepping up the pace when it comes towards the end of the round. That seems to be working very well for him. Absolutely. I think Arthur's telling him just to relax into his work. I, I'd be very surprised if either fighter gets a stoppage tonight. I think both fighters are very durable, yeah. um, very good defensively. I um, think Scott might just be out working at the moment. Um, some really clever work coming back from McDonald, though. Great fight to watch. I think McDonald's corner's telling him to tuck up and avoid those body shots. Potentially, yeah. Very exciting main event so far. Definitely. As I say, I don't think either fighter has taken a backward step, and you're talking about heavyweights here. Very impressed with that. Crowd has 100% got their money's worth for these matchups. I hope Scott you can hear that in the background. There we go, touch of gloves. Great show of respect from the fighters here. Here we go, round three. Ready to go. Scott, great front foot feints that he likes to throw in there, change of levels. Looking for the shot, very patient fighter. Um, there you go, coming in nice and safe. There you go, there's a the body shot we're talking about for McDonald. Inch firing back though. McDonald says, I'll have some of that. Good David. tear up from the big lads. Yeah, David McDonald being very aggressive here in the third rounds. I think he'll need to be a wee bit more consistent. Oh, inch searching southpaw for a wee minute here. Back to orthodox. Just a little change of look, maybe. Oh, flashing in those backhands. I'm not sure if David maybe feels he's behind on the scorecards and he needs to go for broke. I think the first round was very close. I think this third round oh, good is jabs down the middle. so far very back and forth. Scott coming forward there. Those those body shots again from McDonald. Let's see if they affect Scott as we continue into the rest of the third round. Maybe take a bit out of the gas tank, to be honest with you, when you're boxing at this pace. Lovely shots. Lee hooking a straight down the middle. Lovely. Right around the pipe. Looks like David's taking another deep breath Sucking there. up the air there, yep. But every time he does that, he seems Scott's to come back with some oh, good shot, though. Good shot in the southpaw. Nice stiff jab. That's what you need to Just ram the jab back in the southpaw's face. There you go. That's worked for him. Back to orthodox. Good change. Great technique. Good change. I did see him trying that out on the bag on Thursday, and it's obviously something he's drilled in the gym. That worked very well for him there. Good little change of pace. Always good when you can get pull that off. Scott looks like he could do this for three more rounds. Oh, lovely Very. check hook. I think David needs to fire back. Keep Scott oh, off of that side. Body shots around the corner might be a wee option next time they come in close. Can see McDonald utilising that. I'm not sure who else will be using that. David needs to keep that jab going. Good shots around the corner. Oh. Scott kind of getting to fire and David isn't firing McDonald's back. McDonald's liking that big uh, Tyson Fury flick jab when he's in south ball. Inch firing back, taking the space. Must be coming up to the end of the round now. There's and those close. body shots, he's enjoying them. Have a bit of that, he says. I think David's in a bit of trouble. He's getting a oh, stand in eight. A count. Very good by the referee there. I just say he's been safety first all night. McDonald's saying yes, I want to continue. David's saying he's fine. I think it was just the way he was leaning on the ropes yeah. a little bit. Scott putting the pressure on. To be honest, the performance McDonald's had, he deserves to see the bell there. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's time. Well done. Crack and fight from the big lads. Definitely a great main event there. Go showing the respect to the other corner. 
Scott again only 19, so a lot to learn, a lot to improve, but a brilliant performance there tonight. You can see how he's thinking in the ring, you can see the level changes, there's a lot to his game. The wee switch southpaw was lovely, I enjoyed watching that. So I think with Scott doing the wee flurries at the end of the rounds, I think he was nicking rounds there. Now I think the third round of standing eight might have meant that this is going to be a clean sweep for him. We will see. Um, but a brilliant fight, really good to watch. Um, Absolutely. I think the crowd enjoyed it as well. First round was pretty close. Second round, like you said, I think Scott inched his way through there, pun intended. And he definitely got the third round from the standing eight count. I think Josh has been working on that one all day. <laughs> what about on the spot? On the spot. Here we go, I think soon we'll be getting the official announcement. Good decision there, um, no, real, uh, no real protest from McDonald. Both fighters put on a brilliant show. Um, some really skilled work coming from McDonald. As I say, Scott maybe just a little bit fitter, stealing rounds towards the end, um, turning up the gas a bit. Uh, and as I say, a really good finish. So no, quality performance, I think he'll be chuffed with that. And he very much, he's a, he's a back to the drawing board fighter, he'll be back in the gym, he'll be working on other things, but some lovely work there in terms of stepping in, changing levels, switching southpaw, what he's worked on, it's obviously working for him, so well done Scott, brilliant performance. And yeah. well done to McDonald as well. Really good opponent there. Very educated boxer. Well done to both. Well done, Scott. I thought you looked sharp there. It looked really strong even at the end there. Uh, uh, the disaster's obviously got you. How did you feel about that one? It was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute. He was a good, strong opponent. I didn't expect him to stay in as long as he would. So I'm glad I got the rounds in as well. First, that's my first three minute rounds. Did they have you in danger any time, do you think? Didn't feel hot, didn't feel, didn't feel like it was in any danger at all, no. I've got to agree, you looked really sharp the whole time. MD, want to give a shout out to you while you're here? I want to give Arthur a shout out to everybody that's helped me, my corner men, Andrew McCart at MTK. Thank everybody for the help, everybody that's came. Thanks, everybody. Well done, Scott. Cheers, you enjoy mate. your night. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here comes a replay, see Scott with that level change there. But a lovely little counter off the ropes from McDonald. David shaking his head. Good shot round the corner. Lots of respect to him both fairs. Lovely shot from Scott there, doubling up with the backhand hook. Coming up with uppercut. Very busy fighter for a heavyweight, definitely. See him keeping the range there. That was when he was at his most effective there. That was right at the end of a round there. When he was stealing those rounds, that's a lovely level change again. So body, head, body, just missed with the big hook there. In close, swing and a miss, very close. And they're piling on the pressure there, but McDonald coming right back, getting the distance back, firing the shots down the middle. Scott, really good high guard throughout the fight, worked really well for him. Accelerating through the gears as well. And that was a shot that McDonald liked, a wee body shot when they were in close. Might have been something in between the second and third round as coach told him to do. Yeah. And there's the decision there. I think the crowd enjoyed that and I think definitely the correct call, but I think it was a cracking matchup. And uh, McDonald uh, put on a good performance as well. Just the busier fighter, uh, Inch. Okay, that's uh, Josh and Andy signing out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.